Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say, rejoice. Indeed, the Lord is near. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we are celebrating the first Sunday of Advent. This uh, Sunday is called also in the Latin uh, Gaud, uh, Sunday Gaudete, that is the uh, Sunday of joy. In the middle of this time, that we are near to this, uh, uh, to celebrate uh, uh, Christmas, uh, the, the beginning of this history of love of uh, God in us. So in this day, let us uh, rejoice also in the Lord. Let us ask this grace from the Lord to have this joy that is coming from heaven. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, to see how your people faithfully awaited the feast of the Lord's Nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with a solemn worship and glad rejoicing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, the God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord, your God, is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you, as one sings at festivals. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the Great and the Holy One of Israel. God, indeed, is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage 
is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the great and the Holy One of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the great and Holy One of Israel. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly rise. to the poor. To the poor. the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. The crowds asked John the Baptist, What should we do? He said to them in reply, Whoever has uh, two cloaks should uh, share with uh, the person who has none, and whoever has food should uh, do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they said to him, Teacher, what should we do? He answered them, Stop collecting more than uh, what is prescribed. Soldiers also asked him, And what is it uh, that we should uh, do? He told them, Do not practice extortion. Do not falsely accuse anyone. And be satisfied with your wages. Now the people were filled with extortion expectation, and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, 
I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his handles. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Exhorting them in many other ways, he preached good news to the people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Morning, well, brothers and sisters. This day we are celebrating, uh, like uh, we were saying at the beginning, this Sunday of joy. Uh, and all the readings are co- inviting us to this joy. And we know that the opposite of joy is sadness, is fear. Eh? For this, even uh, the prophet uh, Zephaniah was saying, eh? Shout for joy, O daughter of Zion. Sing joyfully of Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. And he continues saying, The Lord has removed the judgment against you. It has turned away your enemies. Eh? And, uh, after he will say, no, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. So this is uh, the, this time we are celebrating the, in this time, uh, this Advent. We are waiting the second coming of the Lord. And we know that in this, his first coming, he already he gave us this joy, this hope, this light to our lives. Because we know that, as the, the prophet Isaiah is saying, you know, that, that the people, they was walking in the darkness. Eh? All the humanity, we can say, because they lose this vision of God in their lives. So, today, the Lord is calling us again to come back to him, to come back to this joy. Because when God has created man and woman, he has created us in the joy. But we know that because of our sins, we lose everything. We, lose, uh, we was in, in fear. You know, for this, uh, uh, Adam and Eve, they was escaping over, even from God. They were hidden uh, from God. And they was afraid. And after enter the sin, everything. Eh? For this, the Lord is, in, uh, is calling us again to enter in the joy of salvation, to enter in the, to the joy of uh, this grace that we have, that we are daughters and, and, and sons of God. This is very important for all of us, brothers and sisters. And le- for this, let us rejoice. Be glad and exult with all your heart, he's saying. Eh? Uh, and fear not, o Zion. Be not discouraged. Eh? There is a you know, the translation also is saying, not, be not discouraged. And they saying, don't put a, a down your hands. Eh? Because how many times maybe we are praying we are trying not to be near to the Lord, and, but we are discouraged. You know? We stop to lift our hands to the Lord because we are thinking maybe that there is no more hope. The Lord is not listening to us. For this, even in the second reading, St. Paul, he will come to help us. He will say again, huh? he will repeat, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall, you, I shall say it again, rejoice, rejoice. Eh? How many times we will listen in this day, this world? I hope that really we can go out from here full of joy. Eh? And he, he will continue as St. Paul. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Eh? So, brothers and sisters, as I was telling you before, no? eh, don't be discouraged. Eh? Continue praying, asking the Lord. Uh, giving thanks also to the Lord, because many times we go to the Lord, we ask, we ask, we ask. Eh? Maybe we are asking in this time a lot of things, but when, there's, when is the last time that we was able to tell to the Lord, thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for this uh, situation that I am having. Thank you for this illness. How many times we have the, the said this in our lives? Eh, maybe never. Eh? Eh, for this... Uh, if the, the, uh, the Christians, we have this grace to have the light of the Lord, to see that God is present in everywhere, that even in illness, even in the bad situation, God is present and He's with us. And many times, all these things that we are thinking that are wrong in our lives, in our history, 
are a blessing for all of us, are, are a grace for all of us. For this, the Lord is inviting us eh, to continue praying, to rejoice in the Lord, to ask eh, this, the help of the Lord. Don't stop. Don't be afraid. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. This uh, time of uh, Advent is inviting us to, to have this hope in the Lord eh, because we know that the Lord, He came and He will come back. And today is His passing also. For this, uh, brothers and sisters, let us ask this joy in our hearts. The Lord he wants to give us this joy in our hearts. It's not a joy that is coming from the world. Eh? It's not a joy that is coming from the things that we think that they will give us this joy. But it's something in the deep of our heart. And I hope that really we can have this joy. Do you remember the apostles after the resurrection, after Pentecost? Eh? They will be full of joy. For this, they will be able to go to announce the gospel, knowing that, that they will go to, uh, to death. Eh? But uh, they were full of this joy of the resurrection, of the presence of God in their lives. Eh? Now coming to the gospel, uh, the, this is the continuation of the gospel of last week, eh? when also John the, the Baptist, he was announcing this baptism for the, uh, of conversion, for the forgiveness of sins. And now the people, they are asking themselves, what should we do? And this is a question, very interesting thing, because this question will, uh, it will be repeated many times in the Gospels. Eh? The rich man, he will ask a good master, what I have to do in order to have, a, to inherit a, a, a eternal life? Eh? And many others, they will ask themselves, eh, what we have to do? And I hope that all of us will ask every day, what I have to do? in order to enter in the kingdom of God, to have this joy. And so, St. John the Baptist, he will answer, whoever has two cloaks should share with the person who has none. And whoever has food should do likewise. And even the tax collectors, the people that they was asking uh, the tax in a justice way, we can say, also they ask, and what do we have to do? To do? He answered, and stop collecting more than what is prescribed. The soldiers also asked him, and what is it uh, what we should do? He told them, do not practice extortion. Do not falsely accuse anyone. And be satisfied with uh, your wages. We know that at the time of the Passion, they will do the opposite. Not all. Many of them also, they will be converted because them also, they are waiting for this salvation. They are, these, all these people that are asking what they have to do, it's because they are uh, living in this fear. They are not happy, even if they are doing many things, even they have a lot of clothes, uh, uh, food, uh, no, even if they are having work uh, they, for the soldiers, no, they have power, they are not happy. They are not happy. They want to know what we have to do. And maybe all in our lives also, we have the same problem, that we have a lot of things. We are doing a lot of things, but we are not happy. What we have to do? Come back to the Lord, to go outside for ourselves, to go to the others. This time of Advent is this time where the Lord has given us this grace to go to the others, to our neighbor, to love our neighbor. And how? Sharing what we have, not only material things, but even a, a word. Eh? For this, when we say at the end of the Mass, no, go in peace, it's a... It's a a mission. No, go and announce what you have received. Share with the people that are outside. Maybe your friends, uh, someone from your family that it's a long time they are not coming to the Mass. Go and share with them this joy. Eh, what we are uh, receiving here in this celebration. Brothers, brothers and sisters, so let us ask this grace from the Lord today to enter in this joy, to have this eternal life today in our lives, in our hearts. If today we have this, for this, we can go and uh, share and be happy, really, in our lives. Eh? Even if we have many difficulties many times in our lives. That I hope that in this Christmas, we are waiting this joy. That not be like a, another year. No, okay, finish. Yeah, gifts, uh, uh, beautiful uh, lights. And, eh? But I hope that really the Lord can give us today this eternal life. So let us continue the celebration. Let us look to Jesus Christ that is coming in the deep of our hearts to help us, to give us this joy. Let us rejoice in the Lord. Let us welcome him in our lives.
Our brothers and sisters, let us stand up and let us profess our faith. I believe, I believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Creator, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, died, died, and, and was buried. buried. He descended, descended into hell. hell. On the, the third day, day he rose again from the dead. dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Filled with the good news of the Lord's coming, it has present our needs and those of all the world. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Pope Francis, Bishop Paul Hinder, our apostolic administrator, bishops, priests, religious, and laity, that they may be true examples of love and brotherhood to the flocks entrusted to their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in positions of power, that they may never misuse their authority for their own good, but may work for bringing justice to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Christians all over the world, that they may reach out to the poor, the lonely, and the sick among them, and thus help in spreading God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For each one of us gathered here, that we may be ready to share whatever we have with the less fortunate among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, for all those infected, and for the entire dedicated medical staff, and for the halting of the coronavirus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray also today, you know that uh, of the consecration of the cathedral in Bahrain. Let us pray to the Lord also that uh, it can, uh, this church can be a light uh, not only for uh, the, uh, the, the country of Bahrain, but even for all the Gulf and for all the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, your people are often uh, unfaithful uh, to you, and uh, yet you always love us. We pray that uh, we may learn to appreciate uh, and uh, be grateful for all your gifts. We make uh, our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 